Chinese New Year is one of the biggest celebrations on the Chinese calendar. It's celebrated in several different cultures. Vietnamese uh, celebrate it, the, uh, the Chinese celebrate it. So we call it Lunar New Year, so it isn't specific to any particular culture. It's actually, there's, there's banquets all the way through the neighborhood um, in the Chinatown International District. We, as a, as a neighborhood, try to uh, celebrate this by bringing people down here and introducing them to the different kind of cultures that they could experience in this neighborhood. In recent years, we've decided to try to incorporate our local businesses as well, uh, to bring in um, the restaurants. Um, food is a natural tie into this event. So we did a $2 food walk. And so this food walk, um, it basically allows people from all over the region to come into this neighborhood, Chinatown ID, and try um, you know, $2 bites at each one of our 40 uh, restaurants that were participating. We have about 85 restaurants in the neighborhood, so people who don't want to wait in line for those $2 bites can go to other restaurants. We also provide outdoor entertainment. At that time of year, everybody wants to have a, a lion dance or a dragon dance. Um, the lions come in, a lot of the stores hire them. They'll uh, hang a cabbage outside of the store with a, with a little bit of money, and the lions will come and eat the cabbage and then chase the bad spirits out of the store. And uh, They'll do fireworks, little firecrackers on the sidewalk. It's what makes this neighborhood unique, and, uh, and so that's exciting. Some people really like the martial arts. There's a lot of growing interest in that. Um, one of the things that this neighborhood has that um, that's really unique is Bruce Lee, the, the famous um, martial artist he, uh, and movie star. He um, spent a lot of his childhood here and his younger, younger years. And so, um, you know, people want to connect with that history. People who grew up in Seattle like the fact that they're proud that he's buried here in Seattle and that he's, you know, a part of this community. But that's the kind of real authentic history that this neighborhood has. When you have an event, it helps highlight that and gives people an opportunity to come down and learn a little bit. And then when they come back for dinner sometime, they'll kind of have that history in their head and they'll be able to kind of talk to their friends about it um, and keep that story alive. We need to grow the customer base from the young age. I really see this neighborhood with the food. It's affordable and it's open to everybody. Like if you can get younger kids to come down here, um, it should be a playground. I mean, it really should be a fun way of learning about culture, the city of Seattle, and also open to everybody. And so that's, we try to aim at, at the younger crowd um, just to get them in the door, get them to feel like this is a, a neighborhood they can come spend time in and that it's part of their culture. Seattle is a major hub for visitors from China. It has a rich history of people coming from China to live here. There was a, a, a strong immigration of Chinese 100 years ago. And then you have the different cultures that immigrated later. Uh, you have the, the Vietnamese that came in. So I think people see this as a very important part of Seattle's um, identity. They look for ways actively to connect to that identity. What we hope to do is raise the profile of this neighborhood. Really almost the easiest neighborhood to get to in Seattle because you have all of the bus lines, all of the transit. We have lots of parking. So any neighborhood could get here very easily. Authentic part of Seattle's culture that you can easily get to. And I think that um, if we give people a reason to come, they'll come.